Hello my friends, it's Gabriel with The Last Huntsman Outdoors here. Another part of the uh, Camp Knife Showdown. Now, something about the Camp Knife size, which, you know, I kind of uh, would say is kind of that four and a half to five and a half blade length, is this would actually make a great soldier knife size of knife. So I'm going to kind of just do a little bit of combatives with each one of these and see which one of these would make a great soldier knife for my uh, military and law enforcement buddies out there, or even just well-prepared citizen type. I'm going to start off with the LT Wright Forest Trail. All right, so the guard does work okay but i do feel my hand wanting to slip a little bit because like i kind of have complained about the handle on the lt right is just super slick now i will say if they did some kind of like milling on it like this or even the uh, uh bear the uh, papa bear knives or the uh, uh pbk essential it would be pretty good actually but with these slick handles ugh does actually stab decently and does have a good guard but i'd be constantly worried about those slick handles if I, I was to carry this i would probably wrap it in some kind of grip tape but i kind of hate grip tape too so yeah we'll we'll come back to this uh, move on to the next one try the uh ikari puko 140 now something to take note on I've actually seen some Finnish military guys and other um, private security type of guys actually carrying these. So that's kind of interesting to take note on. But we'll give it a try here. All right. Absolutely no slippage. Stabs pretty good. Guard works pretty good. It feels good in hand. This would actually make a surprisingly good um, soldier knife if that's what you need it for. Move on to the next. Got the uh, Joker knives. Nomad. Give it a go here. Yeah, this is going to have the same issue as the uh, LT Wright. And actually, the guard on it's not even as good as the LT right. I could feel my hand wanting to slip on it. I am wearing gloves. It does have kind of a leather pad on here. It is cold out here, so bear with me. It's January. But, yeah, uh, this one, probably not so great. Uh, move on. The PBK Essential. I've been kind of intermittently calling this the uh papa bear knives or primitive bear knives he's kind of going through a name change but let's just test this one out oh this one stabs amazingly well the guard worked good and with the texturing on the handle with that guard absolutely no slippage This one does really good. And last but not least, try the Lion Steel here, M5. Guard works really good. That actually, I'd say it's probably the best guard, and it indexes really good too. Huh. Let's go ahead and start scoring these. All right. I'm going to go ahead and score each one of these knives and how well it would make for like a uh, combative and or soldier knife. The first one I tested was the uh, LT Wright Forest Trail. With those, they're kind of just slightly too round and super smooth handles. I did feel it want to like twist just a little bit so indexing was a little off and just uh, with those super smooth scales like that i don't know if i'd totally trust this knife like to be used in that means 
Um, if I was going to like modify this knife or do anything with it, I would probably actually do some kind of milling or sculpting on the scales themselves just to give them a lot more texture. That's always been a gripe with the um, Forest Trail and generally about every LT right. I'm actually only going to give this knife a uh, five. And honestly, the only one that did worse than it was the uh, Joker knives. It was actually um, had all the same issues as the LT Wright, exception for the guard wasn't even as good as the LT Wright. Now, I know uh, some people are going to say, well, you're wearing gloves, blah, 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 and, and all that. Um, it's January, and so it's cold. And something else to kind of take note on, too, is if you did have to use this as, like, a combat knife, your uh, opponent or bad guy or whatever you might, you know, have to uh, defend life and liberty with if you're using a knife, and God forbid you ever have to, but uh, they're not going to give you a chance to, like, switch gloves or take your gloves off or whatever like that. So, you know, there's that element. But I'm only going to give the uh, Joker a four because it even did worse than the LT right. Now, move on to the uh, PPK. I think the uh, PPK did pretty good. It was actually the best stabber uh, out of all these, which with that clip point, it's kind of like no crap, right? Um, it would be a great little belt knife for like a soldier or whatever. Um, the only thing I could slightly uh, gripe on, and you know, n n this is just kind of very minute, but it is kind of just slightly round handle. And with any kind of like a tactical knife, you don't really want something too round or it's going to rotate. Now, this one isn't bad at all, but uh, because of the roundness, I am going to probably only give it, which round is great for the bush. It's not great for tactical use, but I'm going to give it an eight for a tactical blade. Yakari Puko, 140. Like I said, I've seen guys actually in field carrying these for like their soldier combat blade. Now, I've seen a lot of them will get the uh, Bolteron sheath for it instead of this leather. Um... But, yeah, this thing, Index, is great. It actually works really good. And when I did the review, I was actually pretty impressed with this being, like, a potential uh, soldier knife. This knife would do great in that role. Um, I'm going to give it a 9. With the Lion Steel, the Lion Steel was amazing. Now... As you can see, it's more of a longer or wider handle, and it's not overly round. And it just it has a, amazing ergonomics, um, especially for a combat blade. And that guard is really good. It stabs really good. And when I did the uh, mid-size survival knife showdown, the uh, T6 did really amazing as far as like a combat knife as well. And the M5 is no different. I if I was still in the Marines and I wanted, like, a smaller just belt knife for, like, a, uh, uh, just a deployment or duty knife, I would have no qualms with grabbing the Lion Steel M5. And the sheath is pretty good. I would probably, if I was going to go in field, I would probably upgrade to the, uh, Kydex sheath made by, uh, Armatus Carry. Uh, though I wouldn't have any real issue taking this out i would probably mount a tech lock on this part so it's easier to get on and off the belt but all that being said i'm gonna give the uh lion steel a 10 for a soldier duty combat knife well i'm gonna wrap this part up uh with all that being said be prepared both physically and spiritually god bless and carry on